for the weather. Carol is at a rather festive location. Uh, yeah, she's, she's aged a bit, but she still looks well. Still looks well, Carol. Are you looking fine? <laughs> Thank you, Naka. Good morning, everybody. We've come indoors. We're at a beautiful reindeer farm just near Sirencester. Santa is getting ready. He's looking at his naughty and nice list as we speak. But I've come in amongst the reindeer. Now, Mrs. C's in here with me. We'll be talking to you later. And good morning to you. And Naga and Charlie, I'm going to see if the reindeer will come over. Come on, Mischief. Come on, I've got a little treat for you. There you go. This always happens to me. It never works when I work with animals. There you go. Come on now. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Oh, she wolfed the whole lot down. <laughs> she looks very lovely, but she looks suspicious of you, Carol. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, if she didn't have such big antlers, I'd be in there cuddling her. They are gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous, Naga. Beautiful animals. Looks lovely there, Carol. I know you're in your element. We'll speak later. Thank you. I have a question. Yes. What do reindeer smell like? Actually, they, they don't really smell, Naga. It's very, very clean in here. So, and they're very lovely girls as well. And you're quite right, I am in the Cotswolds this morning with the reindeer. Let me introduce you to them. They're mother and daughter. The mother is the one without the antlers. She's called Satu, and the one with the antlers is Mischief. Now, they're Finnish woodland reindeer. The girls are about as big as they're going to get. The males would be bigger than this. And they're covered in hair from the antlers all the way down to their hooves. And the hair on the hooves actually makes it easier for them to grip when they're walking on ice. And in actual fact, the hooves spread out like instant snowshoes. Now they've got no top teeth. They've only got tiny baby teeth at the bottom like cows and sheep do and they can sprint at 50 miles an hour. So I wouldn't like to take them on in a race, but oh my goodness, they're absolutely gorgeous. And of course they're having a nice easy time at the moment, whereas Santa's reindeers will be gearing up for their big event coming up in the next couple of nights. Look at the girls, they're just standing by. Look what I've got, treats, yum yum. Come on, fill your boots. No, no seriously, they're okay, they're okay to eat. There they you don't trust, go, look trust at you. that. Oh, now I'm sorry about that, Mum, but your daughter wolfed the whole lot. Oh dear, oops. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Carol, that's mean. You've now got to find some more treats for Mum. I know, it's the story of my life working with animals, isn't it, <laughs> Naga? But I will, I will. <laughs> Where's Father Christmas gone? Wasn't he sitting in that chair a moment ago? Was he, was he there? Has he gone somewhere? He, he was, but he'll come back. He's probably having a cup of tea, actually, because it's quite chilly, Charlie. So I'm sure we'll see him again. Good. Thanks, oh. Carol. I'm at the Cotswold Reindeer Herd near Sirencester, and you can see the reindeer around me with Mrs C too. Mrs C is always with us so that we're not alone with the reindeer for, from a safety point of view. Now, the reindeer you're looking at at the moment is called Fenix. He is seven years old. He's the daddy of the group in here to Pickle and Chutney. And he and Pickle were actually driven from the Arctic here to the Cotswolds. And when here, he had another baby, or he didn't, his wife did, and that was Chutney. But I want you to take a good look at his antlers. I'm just going to read you some facts. His antlers still have some velvet on them, and that is because he has had the snip, so he's not going to have any more children. And all of the the reindeer do have velvet on their antlers and what they do in August is they're, they're rubbing it against things like trees and fences to get it off but he still has his and it's very furry looking as well. The other thing is he's covered in hair from his antlers all the way down to his hooves. Now his hair is rather like that in a polar bear in that it's hollow like through a drinking straw, for example, and that helps with his insulation. And if you go all the way down to his hooves, they splay out rather like instant snowshoes, which makes it easier for them to walk in the snow and, of course, on the ice. And the hair on the hooves also helps with that process as well. They are quite stunning animals, I must say. You have to agree, they're lovely. And look what I've got. I've got a little treat here. Would you like some? Oh, I don't mind if I do. I'll have it. Look at that. Oh, I like, I like a bit of sultana in the mornings. There he goes. He's moved down a lot. 
Carol, it's been lovely there. Thanks so much for that. She's in the Cotswolds, isn't she? What were you like as a 16-year-old, Carol? <laughs> a nightmare, Mike. An absolute nightmare. <laughs> and I'm sure my mum would certainly agree with that one. Good morning, everybody. I am in the Cotswolds this morning, Naga. I'm actually at the Cotswold Reindeer Beautiful Herd Farm. And I'm joined by Mrs C, known to her friends as Claire. Good morning, Claire. Good morning. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> and you too. And thank you for having us as well. What's it like, though, looking after a herd of 21 reindeer? Absolutely amazing. They're incredible. Um, we're such lucky people and we love them dearly. <laughs> so what do you do on a daily basis with them? Um, well, in this, at the moment, they're all in cause for the winter. But um, for the daily basis, we always feed them first thing in the morning, give everybody a lovely check. Um, in the spring and summer, they're out and about and having great fun. And then we bring them in every evening for supper. And th they're not very cuddly, but if I get a chance, I have a good cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Some of them you've driven yourself down from the Arctic. Yes. Yeah. What was that like? Well, slightly stressful, but it was well worth it. They're fantastic. Yeah. And then we've had uh, calves from them as well. So. Yeah. Now, Felix is behind us, and yes. his antlers are quite stunning, but they still mm. have velvet on them. Yes. Talk us through that. Um, because he's had the snip, um, he doesn't have any feeling now in the antlers, um, so he doesn't have the testosterone to make them want to rub it off, whereas all the others live, rub it off in August, female and male. So they lose their antlers every year. The males after the rut, the females, if they're not pregnant, about this sort of time, as you've seen, and if they're pregnant, they keep them until May when they've carved. Well, they are magnificent, and Claire, thank you so much. And you can see all around me, there are lots of lovely reindeer. Where are your friends, Carol? Where are your friends? Oh, they're all around me here, Charlie. If I go back over here, you'll see Mrs C again, but they're just gorgeous. Chutney, pickles, fennix, they're all here, and they're friends right up there too. Carol, what a There's lovely... There's 21 of them. What a lovely place to be um, just before Christmas for you. Thank you so much. It's been nice meeting all your friends. Um, enjoy your Christmas, Carol. Thank you, Naga. You too, and you too, Charlie.